Hi everybody, we are going to talk about one of my favorite Christmas horror movies, Santa's Sleigh. I try to watch this every year at this time. It's a 2005 movie, IMDb gives a 5.3 out of 10. Santa is actually a demon that loses a bet with an angel with a curling match, which then he has to, since he lost, he has to be good and spread happiness, jolliness to the kids, but he's actually evil. So once the bet's time limit is up, he gets to go on his evil rampage. This has Bill Goldberg in it that is um, WWE. I think it was, he started back when it was WWF, if I remember correctly. Um, that is Robert Culp. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing his name right. He is Grandpa. He is also in Silent Night, Deadly Night 3 as Lieutenant Conley. And lots of older films and TV shows. Uh, Dave Thompson, or Thomas, excuse me, is in this. Uh, he's the pastor. He's in a lot of old, like, uh, SNL type movies, like Stripes and stuff like that. He's in other stuff as well, but I couldn't really find anything that would definitely, you'd probably recognize him, but trying to find something that you'd like, oh yeah, that's him. I couldn't really figure out like something that he starred in. I'm sure there was something, I just missed it. Rebecca Gayhart is in this. Uh, she is an urban legend, Jawbreaker, Scream 2, Dust Till Dawn 3, Urban Legend Final Cut. Uh, Chris Kattan is in this, and you know a lot of him from SNL. He's also in the Haunted House, ha House on a Haunted Hill remake. Fran Drescher is in this. Um, if you know, probably know her, if you don't recognize the name, you'll know her from the nanny and her very annoying laughter and voice. I'm sorry, just it really bugs me. I know that's what she's famous for, but it's just like uh, I can't deal with it. Tom Lister Jr also known as Debo from Friday, is in this. And James Can is in this, C-A-A-N. The first family that Santa busts, he literally busts through the chimney, uh, to me, is Chris Kattan, James Can, um, the nanny, uh, Fran, um, what was the other one's name? Rebecca Gayhart. There was a couple other people along with them, but that was the only ones I really recognized. And this is before the credits. This happens like in the first like 10 minutes of the film. And it is just wonderful. They're a wonderful, super dysfunctional family. Um, not wonderful in the good sense. It's wonderful if you just laugh at them type of thing. Um, it's meant to be funny, put it that way. And it has some of the best mayhem in this. And this is the first like 10 minutes is probably like my favorite of the whole movie put together. I just, I love the beginning of this is like my favorite thing. Uh, yes, uh, there is a buffalo in this movie that is his hell spawn reindeer. Uh, they wanted something that looked different, plus they didn't really have the budget for a bunch. They wanted to do, like, a whole eight reindeer, but they didn't have the budget because this was lower. So they decided to go with something different, and they came up with a buffalo and, like, put powder on him to make him look white. And they put some horns on him. And they didn't even make his nose glow in a few scenes. Um... But the buffalo is real. They do use some, like, uh, fake buffalo in some of the scenes, but not a lot. Um, the pastor uh, steals, and he absolutely loves his strippers. And something unfortunate happens to the strippers, and he has, and he wants his congregation to pray for their souls, which is pretty funny. There is a uh, a silent stripper pole joke that is super funny and nothing is really said besides ooh 
but just what happens in that scene is super funny. Nothing gets strippers. It's just the scene. It's hilarious. Um, there is stop motion animation like the, you know, like the Rudolph, uh, I want to call them cartoons, but they're not cartoons, but what you usually watch every year, like the family version stop motion, they actually have stop motion in this that explains the background of Santa and this angel and the bet and everything, which was super cool. And of course it's not as well done as, you know, those movies, but it's still extremely well done for the budget it had. There's a lot of word plays in this and subtle jokes. And sometimes you don't catch them right away. You have to watch this movie multiple times to catch it. There's stuff that, you know, I'll catch one time I watch it and miss or catch something else and another time I've watched it. And I've watched this almost every year since, I want to say since I've discovered it, and I don't remember how long after 2005 when it came out when I discovered it, but this is probably one of my favorite Christmas movies, so I make sure to watch it every year, and every year is super entertaining, especially that first 10 minutes I absolutely love. Um, and where else can you hear, Daddy, where did you get that bazooka from? <laughs> And there is a cutscene at the very, very, very end of the credits, and it kind of leaves it open, but we never get another one. Now, I I don't think this movie is, like, super popular, but if you really like your horror Christmas comedy, you probably really like this movie, and I'm sad to say that it did not get a second movie and I really wish it would have it would have been great especially if they would have kept Bill Goldberg and this is not really extremely but I wouldn't call it extremely buddy but it is definitely a great horror Christmas story and it's a fun time to watch it does have blood don't get me wrong it does have blood but it's just something fun to watch every year and I don't think it ever gets dull. I know Darcy talks about it a lot. She was talking about it on the Christmas special that she wished she would have played it and I probably love it just as much. I make sure to watch it every year. I own the DVD so I have my own horror Christmas selection that I go through every year and this is one of the top movies I make sure I watch. So I give this movie a 7 out of 10 just because I love it so much. I think for the budget it is, it is very well done. It's, you know, it's not like Krampus budget or anything, but it had a low budget. They made it fun and crazy and it's purposely fun and crazy. And that's all intentional and it's a super fun time to watch it. So definitely check it out. 7 out of 10. Like, subscribe, do a lot of fun stuff, and I'll see you next time.